Okay, we're looking at the ship day interface and right now we have one transaction that's current. We're going to be creating a scheduled transaction from the point of sale and submitting it. Now we're at the point of sale. There's a few ways that uh, we can get those orders into ship day. This is going to be one way we'll start with. Uh, we're going to go to the burgers category. No, we'll go to juice category. We'll just add in a uh, 20 ounce juice here. We'll skip this section. We're going to add a person that's going to receive that order. Now here we don't have any information to um, assign the schedule for. So we're going to go to edit cart. And then we are going to go to change type. And this is going to cause the system to prompt us for shipping information when we go to pay options. So it's going to ask us for what kind of order type we're using again. We'll choose internet shipping order. It's going to use their default address. Then we'll go to next and we'll choose a date. We'll choose tomorrow. We can put in a time like 11, 13 AM. We can go to next and here at this point, uh, all we need to do is hit go from here and you should have a ship day button assigned if you have the API key set up. You would press ship day and this is going to get inserted into your uh, scheduled transactions and ship day. You get a little prompt that's hidden down below because of the, the screen size I have set up. Now that we switch over to ship day, we're going to see a transaction I did a few minutes ago. If you compare the time, so I'll just go to uh, the current and then I'll switch back to scheduled and it refreshes and we see the order I just submitted and one that was submitted four minutes ago. So this was meant to be a simple review of how ship day integrates. Uh, there are some more automated features. It also works with our e-commerce. If you have any questions, email support at pointlesspos.com or leave a comment below.